Am I the butthole for telling my rich parents that my lower class friends and their families are better people than they could ever dream of being? I'll start by saying that I'm a 17 male. Both my parents are very successful lawyers, and we live in a super nice house. They have given me everything I could ask for, but they're not exactly there for me emotionally. I can't remember the last time we ate dinner together or had a decent conversation. Most of the time they're not even home and it's just me. I feel like a ghost in my own house. We moved to a new town not too long ago, and my parents enrolled me in the more exclusive private school in the area. I've gone to private schools my entire life. But my experience at this school was horrible. I'm short, effeminate looking, and obviously gay. The only reason I didn't get my ass seriously kicked was because my parents are rich. I begged my parents to switch schools, but they were hesitant because the only other option was public schooling. I finally escaped the private school of circle jerking, and enrolled in this new school. I guess I should mention that a few years ago, this school district expanded their enrollment zone to slightly cover a lower income area, which resulted in a handful of students from low income families being enrolled. My first few days at this new school were brutal, with a lot of the same problems following me. Until I ran into Garfield. It's a family name. I swear he's not named after a cat. He spoke up and said he would love to be my lap partner when no one else would. We quickly became friends and he introduced me to his childhood friend also attending the school named Eduardo. Since my parents are so distant to begin with, they never noticed me spending so much time with my new friends. Garfield's mother is a waitress and his dad a construction worker. Eduardo's mother cleans houses and his dad works odd jobs, such as driving for Uber. Both of their families are amazing and involved. I started dating Garfield and had real friends for the first time ever. Both Garfield and Eduardo have come over to my house about twice and met my parents. The other day, my mother pulled me over and casually mentioned that I was spending a lot of time with that blonde boy, Garfield, and the Hispanic kid. She asked what their families did and where they lived, and I told her. She immediately became upset and said I was aiming way below my abilities and these were not the kind of influences I needed in my life. I asked why, and she said we just live different types of lives and I'll understand when I'm older. I freaked out and said both of them and their families have been there more for me in the six months I've known them than my parents ever have and that they're cold, unfeeling snobs. My mom started crying and said public school has changed me for the worst. I've never seen her cry before, and I'm starting to feel horrible. Am I the butthole for saying they're rich hypocrites and that my friends' families are better? Wow. Not the butthole. At all. I'm sorry your mom is hurt but not being involved in her kid's life obviously has consequences. And being so judgmental of people with less money doesn't put her in a good light at all, especially if she's encouraging you not to be friends with people who've been so kind to you. I'm glad you have your boyfriend and friend and full offense, I'm glad you're not a snob. Thanks for saying that. It just makes me so angry. She's judging them by their class and their parents' income level, and I feel like I can't do anything. Sometimes you have to realize that your parents aren't gods or perfect human beings, they're just people with imperfections, and sometimes those imperfections are pretty extreme. Definitely not the butthole. I don't think original poster is asking for gods or perfect human beings, or even good parents at this point. I get the feeling it's too late to salvage the parent-slash-child relationship at this point without major effort from both ops parents, which seems unlikely. Even if they did change their behavior it's for all the wrong reasons, fear that original poster is what they could consider a class traitor rather than actually desiring a relationship with their son. Agreed. They thought money would raise their child for them and now they're lashing out at the kid forming his first meaningful relationships. There's no way the class's snobby attitude is going to go away without significant effort on the parents' part and, going off what original poster has said, it's unlikely they're going to change their attitude towards him and prioritizing work and their own lives above and beyond his well-being. Not the butthole original poster. Agreed. They thought money would raise their child for them. Well a whole bunch of crap just came into focus for me. My parents were like this. I never wanted for much, went to a private school etc. but my folks were quite distant and always working. They were also constantly surprised that I didn't know things and never had any talks etc. with me as I grew up, assuming that the school would teach me these things. I'm not close with them and they seem fine with that. I was also super naive for so long as I was so sheltered, 
couldn't cook when I left for university. They had so little involvement in my life and it stunted me. I'm so sorry, you and every child ever raised or treated like this deserve so much better. I hope you found friends and loved ones who care about and are able to appreciate you as a person. I mean it's all subjective you grew up in a similar situation, boarding school instead of private, but I'd never choose a different path. I recall reading that the most neglected children come from either very poor or very rich families. My grandmothers used to say, a child can still starve with a full plate. A kid can have everything. Food, water, clothing and shelter but that kid is still starving. They're starving to be noticed and to be loved. This happened with a friend of mine. Parents never around, but buy him whatever he wanted. It got him pretty messed up, up to and including intentionally rolling a car, so they would get him a different one, two months after they bought the first. I think that's a bit extreme. Original poster is still very young. I think he has a chance to show his parents they are wrong. If they have been rich their whole lives they may have not been exposed to people who are of a lower income level at a relational level. Maybe they will come around once they've been around original poster's boyfriend. His mother started crying so obviously some part of her cares that he feels that way. Maybe they won't change, but I think it's far too early to suggest that original poster just throw the whole relationship away. Edit, spelling and clarification. Op is still very young but is also 17. If he doesn't go to college this fall, he will be doing so next fall. He's quite literally about to be on his own and can make his own choices, including generally being able to enforce them by moving out slash going no contact slash filing restraining orders if it comes to that. I doubt it'll get to that point but I also think Op's mom at least finally realized that her ability to have any say in her kid's life is about done. Or he won't go to college at all. Right. I don't disagree. I'm just saying I think it's a bit early to advise just giving up on the relationship. If he needs to go no contact for his own health, or whatever choice he needs to make. But telling him it's too late for the relationship at this point is jumping the gun. File restraining orders? For what, exactly? Judges don't typically dole those out for being a snob. If they have been rich their whole lives they may have not been exposed to people who are of a lower income level at a relational level. Or if his parents are working all the time it could be that they were lower socioeconomic background themselves to begin with and have had to put in the longest hours themselves to become successes. It in no way makes what the mother said right at all but I did think what if she is so intent on her kid going to the best schools, being around certain people etc because she herself didn't have certain opportunities? It would explain the weirdly over the top reaction a bit because it's hard to imagine someone being so judgmental of someone simply because of their family's income bracket without some kind of deep seated issues. I of course do not know these people so could be wrong but my husband and I grew up poor and have worked mega hard to give our child the life we didn't have. It's hard. There are times you feel so guilty for missing out on time with them but we do our best and make sure we are present with him and are there for everything we can be which it sounds like maybe original poster hasn't had. We also teach him to make sure he understands his privilege and that his parents didn't have that, he wouldn't dream of looking down on someone. Op not the butthole but please don't just throw your relationship away with your mother without discussing this with her. Or if his parents are working all the time, it could be that they were lower socioeconomic background themselves to begin with and have had to put in the longest hours themselves to become successes. Op said his parents were both lawyers. Working all the time is very, very common with lawyers. The work-life balance in the profession is terrible. Growing up poor would definitely be a reason why someone would be willing to do that but there are plenty of lawyers who were born to rich families who put in insane hours. A lot of large firms have hourly billing requirements that you can't meet unless you're working 60 to 80 hours a week. Came here to say the same thing. Lawyers probably put in long hours. And not to assume anything about Op's parents, considering his mother's mindset, she probably came from money. Going to school to become a lawyer isn't cheap. Of course, not every law student is rich, but if Op's mom is concerned about her child being friends with lower class people, it's probably because she was raised in an upper class family. Perhaps original poster can give some insight. I think I'm at 242, that the biggest difference in you and Op's parents is simply that last part in your comment. You're involved and you make sure he understands his privilege. 
It sounds also like original poster is fully aware of socio-economic differences and he's basically like, may your point is very valid that they might be trying to give him what they didn't have so I love your advice to him to not throw away the relationship. She had her chance for the past 17 years to actually be there for original poster. He doesn't owe her snobby ass a damn thing, she has to put in the effort to salvage the relationship, note original poster. I'm not excusing her behavior, it's not acceptable to look down on others and I have a real bugbear for parents who raise their children to do the same, well done original poster for avoiding this and finding your own voice, but. Original poster is 17 years old. When we are teenagers, we are often prone to extreme reactions and we haven't always developed the ability to see that someone's mistakes, particularly those who love us, often come from a good place but executed very poorly. Original poster's mom is wrong but that doesn't mean she doesn't love him or want the best for him. I was raised in a family with a toxic mother, cutting ties with someone like that isn't easy. If original poster can mend fences and his mom realizes her mistakes that's the best course of action for everyone. May, plenty of people grow up in alpha type professional families and grow up to be like that themselves. The parents could be self-made but don't have to be. America doesn't really have an idle old-fashioned aristocracy. Too late to salvage the relationship? That is horse crap. Parents and their children go through pushes and pulls, especially once the kids start to move beyond puberty. You do not know enough to condemn them or to assess this family as lost. Perhaps, you're thinking more of your own situation. This isn't about a whoopsie-daisy mistake. This is about the parents having fundamentally different values from their child. Namely, the parents judge the value of people by how much money they have, and original poster is judging people by how kind they are. I don't want Op's values to change, and his parents are unlikely to change, they have a lifetime emotionally invested in this outlook, so you tell me how this gets fixed? I don't agree that his parents are doomed to a life of snobbery because everyone can change if they're willing. That being said, even if he and his parents continue to have different views on the subject, as long as they are respectful of the differences, a relationship can still be had. They were not respectful in this situation. Not even close. However, they don't have to have a fundamental shift in their belief system if they can learn to back off and not force feed their beliefs to their son. I'm sorry that you have such a grim view of people and their ability to grow at any age. Look at the state of the world and tell me you seriously believe most people are prone to introspection or growth. Looks around at the US. Looks at rule 12. I think we're going to have to settle for saying that you are much more optimistic about human nature than I am. If time proves me wrong and you right, I will be very happy. The first step in growth is acknowledging that growth needs to happen. Op's mom's reaction to being called out for being classist and an absent parent is to cry about how this is all the public school's fault. That is not an indicator that she knows she's in the wrong. That's the thing. Op's parents have been pushing him away something fierce for apparently years now. If they don't drastically change their personalities and become more involved in their kid's life, they may well lose original poster forever. Judging by their immediate reaction, blaming the poor people instead of their own bad parenting, it's not outside the realm of possibility. I agree. I was 30 before I developed a better relationship with my mom. It can be done at any age if you want it badly enough. Only if your parents also want it badly enough. Not the butthole I am sorry but your family is now laying in the bed they created. Emotional involvement and basic body needs are completely irrelevant from each other. You cannot feed a dog by petting it and you cannot make it friendly by dropping food randomly. Now add the complexity of a human being on top that and the mistake is obvious. If I were you, I would say that your emotional needs are unmet and the family needs a family counsel or slash child therapist etc. If he or she is a professional, he will cut through your parents. Even if your friends were rich, it wouldn't change anything. Their class is irrelevant, you are not changing? Because of waitress profession, person face palming, give your parents a chance to fix this. That's a really good way of putting it. And I honestly think we do need help, but we don't really know how to relate to each other. I don't know, my dad is furious with me and not open to any discussion. Edit, spelling. Give them an actionable path, go therapist etc, to follow or they will decide to blame the public school as an easy path. It is good that your family is dealing with this now. If you saw happy families as a grown-up adult, 
you probably would decide to cut contact or act extremely distant. Now your family has a chance to fix this. Tell them that you want to love them more and be more close to them but you cannot find a way when they are away too much. You can even say you are a bit jealous. A simple solution would be to allocate specific appointments for quality family time. Your parents are used to be punctual to the meetings for clients, so now they get to meet with the most important customer. You. That is how high class people keep up with their family, if you do not plan for family time, you will skip it. This is a nice idea but doesn't seem to fit Op's circumstances. He's already said that dad is furious and isn't open to any discussion. I don't want to speak on Op's behalf but I find this group often assumes people's family situations are as liberal as the ones they grew up in. I'm from a household where parents are in charge and that's it. The idea of making suggestions to my parents on how they should parent or advising them to go to therapy would be laughable. I believe the actions suggested are simply so that original poster can say that he made an effort and then put the ball in his parents' court. I don't see why original poster is expected to be the only party putting an effort into his relationship with his parents. Putting the ball in the court of people who don't want to play by the rules means they take the ball and destroy it and then scream or laugh at you for having passed the ball. You can't possibly make any progress with someone else who is refusing to cooperate with others, so all the effort original poster puts in does nothing for the relationship and is emotionally unhealthy for original poster. The only way the relationship can improve is if Op's parents choose to work on themselves so they're better people. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to be the first to know about Red Rabbit Reader's new videos. If you like our videos, please like them on YouTube and share them with your friends. We welcome your comments below. Press to start another of our videos.